Hi guys! So, this is going to sound insane, but today I got, um, today I got a piece of paper from Fertility Associates saying that I owed $150 for freezing of the sperm, which I didn't even really think about or know about, and it's good until July. So I messaged them and I said, do I need to, like, do I need to pay this or can I just get rid of it? They basically told me that I need to pay with it, pay it, and it's over payment, so I need to pay it. Um, so I've de decided that some shape or way or how, I don't know yet, I am doing a third cycle. I know I said I wasn't going to do a third cycle, but one, this is my last shot. Two, I really feel like COVID messed up my other shots um, because of my shot, because I'd got my shot within six weeks of putting the two babies, uh, the two, like, the sperm in, the two lots of sperm in. Um, so, and it really messed with my cycle. So... I had my last COVID jab, my booster, on the 6th of Jan, so by the time I go through with this, this is probably going to be about 10 weeks, I would say. March the 6th is 8 weeks, um, and I should be having my day one sometime, that, sometime then, between the 1st and the 6th. Um, so it would be 8 weeks, and by the time I actually do the dissemination again, it would be looking at closer to probably... Um, 10 or 11 weeks so I am going to take the chance one more time do it one more time just to see I'm not going to tell as many people um, because I'm a little bit weary about it um, and yeah it'll be harder maybe this time I don't know or easier if I don't tell people but I'm going to start this crazy journey again so We'll see. I mean, I'm in a much better space. I've lost some weight. Unfortunately, because of Omicron, we're going to stop doing our exercise. So I'm going to have to try to exercise here at home. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I got to try. Um, make sure I'm eating more healthy, which I've done. You know, I've, yeah, I've made a lot of changes since then in my diet, in my lifestyle. Um, and like I said, I'm I'm in a better mental state than I was before, so we'll just continue with that. So it's slightly crazy, I know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly. My mom wants to be happy, but she's worried about her bills. And um, she, um, yeah, sorry, I had to close my nose. She's worried about her bills a little bit, and I just told her that, you know, I'll give her the $300, but I really shouldn't be paying her rent, paying half my brother's rent. Um, he should be paying the whole lot himself. So, this month alone, I'm going to give her $600. Um, so, I just told her to have to go back to $300 because I have to pay for this, um, and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Um, I am doing this for me. This is the last go I have. Um, and I'm petrified because it's the last go I have. Um, for real this time. I'm only allowed to do three cycles. Um, that is the cutoff for IUIs anyways. Especially of my age. So, that's the journey. Um, I did talk to my best friend Mary today, who said go for it, so I'm um, taking that to heart. I haven't talked to you yet, Andrea, or Kelsey, but I will. Um, yeah, I just need your guys' prayers. Um, hopefully you guys don't think I'm too crazy and trying again now that that part of boosters and shots and stuff is over, um, but I'm going to do it. Um, and I'm hoping and praying that cycle number nine 
That's right, you heard me right. Cycle number nine in the last 10 years will be the bonus cycle. So, we'll just see. Anyways, I, yeah, the, the bed bug situation is better. My mom's had her house sprayed. It's going to be sprayed again. I'm not sure what's happening with my niece and my um, brother because my niece has now changed her mind and she wants me to live with her mom again. And I don't know. It's, it's actually a mess. I have no idea what's happening. But um, we'll just see. Anyways, things are not super quieting down, but I feel like it's a little bit better. I'm being much more present in everyday life and making a very active um, uh, very active, like, not going on my phone and stuff like that. Um, I spent the whole weekend reading the book Reading Love. There is a movie out. It is, it was such a good book. Um, I've read it once before, but I forgot. It's the story of Hosea that's in the Bible about how God tells him to go marry a prostitute <laughs> and how she goes back to that life and he repeatedly forgives her and it's about God's love and how he forgets us over and over again um, and it's just a really nice story about forgiveness and love and sacrifice and I don't know it's an easy read um, it's a good read there's not like heaps of like Christian stuff in it so if you're not a Christian and you want to read it, it's Redeeming Love by Francis Rivers. Um, the movie is in most cinemas now. Not in New Zealand, unfortunately, but in other places. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see if I can find a copy and try to watch it as soon as I can and see how much like the book it is. But, um, yeah, that's a great movie. Um, COVID is going crazy here at the moment. Today we had 2,800 cases. We've had 23 cases, 2,300 cases, 2,500 cases, like 2,600 cases. Like it's crazy. Um, we've had like six to eight kids who've been like close contact, so they have been isolating. Um, we have our first parent that's a positive case. Um, so we, so I had to do my first rat test today. Um, it was a little bit uncomfortable. I sneezed a million times, but pretty easy. Um, obviously, it was negative. <laughs> um, and they might become more common if we end up having um, teachers off. So at the moment, we have a teacher whose son has got it. And he's school-aged, so she's off. We have my flatmates. Uh... My flatmate's niece is a close contact, so her sister is off. Um, well, they isolate, um, even though she hasn't. Te they haven't tested positive. As positive. Um, and now I just have another colleague who um, hasn't been feeling very well, and so she's waiting for a test. So, and tests are taking like six days now, so it's a lot of time off work, and it's a lot of pressure. But it is what it is, right? Um, she did get it. She did take a rat test and it was fine, so. Um, but she just wants peace of mind more with the proper one. But yeah, that is basically what's happening. Um, yeah. I hope you guys are doing well. And I will talk to you as soon as I know what the heck's going on with this next cycle. Um, but yeah, have a great evening. Bye.